here we go, here we go. It's losers semis. Garg was able to take out Diz 2-0. We're gonna move on to the money. Joining me on the mic is a good friend of mine, James, aka Lizo. What is up, my friend? Yo, what's up, man? So, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, a household name to a few, but not to many. Grog here, coming in, uh, taking that the, the set over. It is going to be fun to see how he does well here. He just came and watch. Um, did these guys? Um, I was actually. Oh, check it. Uh, check yeah. check it this. So Grog lost to Sally. Yep, that's what I thought. So this is the second time they're going to be playing tonight. Which, you know, it's going to be tough, but you know, if you get that good mental state and mentality, it, 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 it'll put you in the right spot. You yeah. know, you'll actually think about adapting. You're not going to think about the the drudge, you know, the, the grind. Yeah, uh, I can 100% recognize this match, because earlier today I actually commentated them, and, and um, what do you say? Um, how do you pronounce his name, by the way? Is it uh, Seba, Seba Yi or uh, Seba I? You're going to have to ask... Um, some other people about that. Okay, um, people have like so many different like pronunciations. I, I, use, I like, say bye. <laughs> say bye. I like that one better because it's just more entertaining. But uh, yeah, like uh, say bye with uh, the victory from the past. But let's see if, if things are going to be completely different. Uh, but so far it's neck and neck. But just when I said that, he takes out the chair and actually uh, puts an end on the second stock on Grog. So Grog on his last stock here. Yeah. You know, you know, big thing here, like say bye was, was very good offline right before quarantine hit. But you also got to remember, this, this man hit puberty during quarantine. He's a whole different beast. And I, I really love to see, like, kind of, like, the difference in play now that, you know, it's, it's a long time. And I love that. He actually baited out that neutral beat. The, the and, you know, well, yeah. landed with a falling air. There you go. Oh, but still clanky with the turnip, but it doesn't matter. He's still able to get back on stage here. Yeah. And the roll-ins, and no punish on the roll-ins as well. But it's also pretty tedious to, you know, try to get the reads on the roll-ins, especially when it's Game & Watch, but... The big thing, too, is just, unfortunately, you know, Peach does so well with ledge pressure, but, you know, unfortunately, Game & Watch just does so well at the ledge. Yeah. Has so many different options to just really safely get back to the center of the stage. Which, which makes it a, like a highly neutral, intensive matchup. And, you know, you, you really have to have the better neutral to, to take it uh, versus Game & Watch. There you go. Say by you dropping the nuke and uh, taking that first match so far in the set. This is going to be a pretty difficult match so far. And you can, uh, you can see the frustration from Rob right here. And he's, he's thinking, he's trying to figure out how do I get past the pressure from Game & Watch and add my own pressure to see uh, how much damage I can deal to win this match, but... Game two now. So we doing well in the last one. Uh, card change? I think we have a card change. So FD, flat stage, no platform. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like this is an advantage for uh, Sebae. As you, as you can tell right there, there's not too many uh, platforms uh, Grog can tech on yeah, if you get hit by up airs or even up airs. Yeah, Grog is one of those players, though, that he plays where he's, his comfort zone is. Um, and, you know, you know, I think if he loses, he loses. But uh, overall, I would say he has a he's good head on his shoulders when it comes to what he wants to do and when he wants to do it. And I, I like the little bit of counter adaption we're here, seeing here. Grog playing a little overextending in a few spots, reading some defensive options uh, from Sebae. Oh, gets a sour spot with the down smash too. So yeah. luckily for Grog, he was able to escape it, but it doesn't matter. He still gets hit by the up smash when he's trying to land back on stage. So. Yeah. And you know, just the, you know, a lot of people will always trash the game watch for that reason, just because it's, it, it, you put it in such a hard spot when you're all that bacon is flying at you. And then you're like, all right, well, fine. I'll just finally get the opportunity to jump over it. And you're just met with a big old dog in there. Okay, slow, get up. Oh, there, there you go. Good Faded stuff. out the yeah. floor till actually. Um, yeah, a great punish there from Grog. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Like, like a fantastic punishment coming from uh, Grog's ID there. But um, somebody he's showing that he is not afraid to show pressure off stage. And I've seen him go so deep in and succeeding on yeah. capturing another stock from Grog. And yeah. here, Grog on his last stock. I will say, though, that the, the Grog played that recovery really smart. Just unfortunately, that down smash covers a lot of options. Getting back to with the, the stage of the turtles, blasted away. And, oh, uh, big, he's using that to the match. Yeah, oh, yeah big reversal. 
Draw the paint here, just the shield didn't come out in time. So yeah. you're doing such a great job with Edge Guardian, and it's so difficult for Grog to come back, but just when I said that, Grog finally makes it back, and now he's doing the one Edge Guardian, yeah. both back, center on stage, with that up smash call out too. And that up air not killing oh, just very yet. Very close though. Super duper close. Yeah, remember never to jump out of those. You will be taken by the wings of ignorance <laughs> to your death afterwards. Uh, I like the idea of the cross up. There was no back air though, the air to the um, you know, can't watch a little too short. Uh, an opportunity for a reversal, which didn't get right. any time. Oh, I'm surprised okay. he didn't get punched with yeah, that, too. That was lucky. scary. Super scary for Grog. Yeah. But he's still in the game here. Grog trying to figure out how he's going to edge guard uh, Game of Watch here yeah. and ledge. But like, of course, like so many patience. different options. Yeah. yeah. I did like his patience there. Um, you know, Game of Watch is also one of those characters because of the multi hits. Even if you play the, like, the momentum game very smart, sometimes you're, you're just going to get nicked by something along the way. But Grog showing that he's still in the game here. He can definitely bring it back. Oh my god, he is dodging these missiles. Holy crap, I was just about to say that too. That's so funny. But it doesn't matter, he still gets hit by the final missile, and that's gonna end the set. Sadly, Grog is gonna be taken out of the